Well, you join me here in the woods in deeper Stocksfordshire, and all I'm doing really is we're doing a bit of den building with um, my partner Emmy and her little sister Beth, who's nine or ten, I can't remember now. But it's a bit of a lost, lost thing really nowadays is this wood, uh, this den building in the woods and things like that with kids. So we tend to come here every weekend, and we've only just started really. We started last weekend building our den, and uh, we're just going to come each weekend really on a Sunday afternoon and just build it up each time really and hopefully have a really good den by the end hopefully spring, summertime, maybe we'll do some overnighters here but um, I'll just give you a little tour of our den so you can see what we're doing so here's our den we've chosen the location up on a hill as you can see there's lots of dead fall around so plenty of um, material to build to build things with but we chose it, the wind tends to come uh, coming up from down down the hill that way so we've come right up on the hill here and we've chosen to go under some trees uh, obviously we've checked the area for any dead fall or dead dead trees that look like they're gonna fall and it looks pretty safe to be honest so one of the one of the main things really is the location of where you're gonna build your den it's important not to just go to the first place you see but actually have a look at some decent places with you know what what benefits is that place going to bring you and ideally you want to choose a place that's already got a bit of natural shelter anyway to save you all the work of having to do more building work really so we're going to have a further look so as you can see we've got the natural shelter here of the evergreen trees inside and uh, it's actually pretty cool inside we've got lots of open open area to build stuff in this is Beth Hi. King of our king of our camp or queen of our camp, aren't you, Beth? Yeah. What's it called? Tell everyone what it's called. Um the wolf's den. The wolf's den. Come and give us a tour, show us around the place. So this is our stone collecting bin. Stone collecting bin. This was here already, wasn't it? Yeah. We were quite lucky really. Yeah. That's our campfire. Is this where we're gonna have our fires in the summer? Yeah. That's Barney's board. Barney the dog. <laughs> we'll show you him later. And you found this, didn't you, in the woods? Yeah. This is really handy actually, that little grate. Yeah. What about, have we got any, any protection to our base? What's M, M been um, building? There's, there's two walls there. Come and, let's, let's have a look, come and show us. Yeah. This is our main protection wall. This wall here? Yeah, from walls and... From all the bad things. Yeah. There's Barney the dog. Hello Barney. <laughs> There's one wall, where's the other wall? And this is the other wall, this is M's wall. Yeah, it's quite a neat one. She's building that up at the moment, isn't she? Yeah, she's not quite finished. No. And then this is my wall, the messiest wall. It's getting there though. Yeah. So we're getting there, we're just protect yeah. we're just building up the outside of our den first, aren't and we? Mike built a den. Yeah, let's have a look. Inside it. <laughs> Here's Em. <laughs> look at the hard work she's been putting in on this wall. <laughs> this is our den. This is the little A-frame shelter I've been building, isn't it? It's nearly ready for the leaves. Yeah, we're going to put, put some leaves over it today, I think. Yeah. Maybe we could, like, dig a bit of, like, dirt around it. Yeah? Make it yeah. make it a bit neater. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get some leaves on the bottom bit as well, so we can have a sleep in there one day. Yeah. We've got lots of space inside here to do stuff, though, haven't we? Yeah. We can, like, build another one of those. Yeah, I think we'll build, we'll build a similar one of these. Yeah. Little lean-to shelters. Yeah, maybe the other one a bit bigger so that me and Em could go in it. Maybe yeah, we'll yeah, we'll build a big one. And Barney, he can have a little one. <laughs> <laughs> this is my A-frame shelter that I've been building. Simple one, really. I've got the main ridge log going down, pinched up against the top there. Going down and buried. I've dug a hole where I've buried the end down in that way just to keep it secure. And the logs are at a slight angle here. Just so, really, to the counterweight, really, so that every... If the wind blows one log, it kind of has to blow all the logs at the same time, so it just gives it a bit more strength to the structure. And then I've got the entrance facing this way in there. That's the entrance inside there, and uh, obviously I'm going to put some leaves and things on the outside. Okay, what I've done here is, obviously I've got the uh, main ridge log down there, I've got the support logs there. And now I'm just building up with twigs, basically, just purely because the leaves can't go... If I put leaves on it now, they're going to fall through the gaps of these main kind of logs here and they're just going to end up going on the floor and they're not going to support them so I'm building up layers each side with twigs and that's just going to help make a layer for the leaves to then go on top and hopefully they'll sit there once I've built that up I'll build the leaves up from the bottom first coming up and then they should stay up here what I do is with the bigger kind of twigs 
uh, like this. I put the bigger twigs, making sure that their base goes in at the bottom there, and then the tangled part of the branch up near the top here. That's purely for support again, just so that there's more stable support down here. And then all these tangly branches up here can hold those leaves, because most of the leaves are going to be built up at the bottom first, and then they'll go up to the top. Uh, obviously when you're out in the woods you're not going to have a luxury of a broom. So I have my broom here, a little homemade stick that basically is going to help me sweep up the leaves for that A-frame shelter. Smile! <laughs> Back to work, <laughs> peasant. Last day. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's right. Now obviously I didn't come out here with all the tools today because it's just a Sunday afternoon. Um, collecting leaves can be quite tedious really after a while with just your hands, it takes a long time. Ideally if you've got a bit, bit of tarp or something like that, a sheet that you can put it on and carry a big load of leaves at once and then you can put it on your shelter, that would be great. But unfortunately I don't. What I did find though is a bin. However, the bin has a hole in it. So although you might think, oh there's no point using that, I can't put any leaves in it. Actually you can, you just put it on its side, pile a load of leaves in like that, and then you can lift it up like this. Yeah? Yeah. Playing? It's playing, it's recording. Here's half our shelter with the leaves on one side we what we did is you build it up first at the bottom and then you build up more leaves it makes it easier to stack them up towards the top there so here's our his first half of the shelter done looks quite good doesn't it Beth mm -hmm. hello so all those twigs and things there they help keep those leaves nice and compact and stop them from falling and wind and things like that the more layers you build up the more stable it gets. Obviously over time you have to put more leaves on it, but it's looking good. So we've got one more side to do. M's round here. Doing the wall. Yeah. Beth fits in there well. And Barney. <laughs> Barney. Just a little tip really uh, that I found quite useful. If you use, if you put the light dry leaves on the shelter first and then underneath kind of this dead leaf is this sort of hard kind of soil really if you if you ended up putting that on first it's just going to fall through if you watch it just falls straight through inside so you use the light dry leaves first they get caught on the top and then you can pack it down or after you've built up on like this side with that the light dry leaves then you can get into that harder harder stuff to then pack it down and the weight of that hardest soil will help to pack it down. Don't don't use straight soil obviously, use it with leaves as well but just put the light leaves on first um, and then they just help to cover those gaps and then you can use the harder soil and the harder stuff afterwards just to compact it down and stop the wind blowing away all your leaves. Something that I've found has helped me.
The wall is looking good. I like how you stacked it. Thanks. So it doesn't. So the vertical sticks stop the. Well, they kind of work together, don't they? Yeah. What are you doing there, Beth? Um, building a footpath. Is this around the boundary of our, our den? Yeah. That's good. Not show show me where it goes. It leads into our back garden of our den. The back garden? Yeah. Now you got a little corner here. Yeah. Barney uses it sometimes. <laughs> Not all the time. He knows to go on the path, though. This is our garden. It's the back, it's the back, yeah. It's the back. It's where we're going to have the fires, isn't it? Yeah. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah. What are we doing next weekend, next Sunday? Um, we're having some lunch here. Yeah. And we're lighting the fire. Oh, yes. And Should then my footpath goes up. Goes in through now, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it goes in the hole. And that leads to our den, look. Yeah, the old A-frame shelter. Yeah. And then we just stopped it. I'm not quite finished. Where are you going to? It should go like round there and go into that footpath. I see, there's the main entrance, isn't it, round there? Yeah. 